And just for shits and giggles. Oh, start it up. No way. Huh. Time, timer flash seven times. ETU system. You ain't testing, you're guessing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming. You're very welcome. So nice to see you again. You look familiar. Yeah, I heard it was the road. Used to come to our house, not with me, eh? Oh, yes. Oh, I moved up in the world a little bit, huh? Yeah, we moved here. We <laughs> Very just nice. moved, actually. Yeah. Very nice. All right, what's wrong? Uh, All right, outside. Here is that line, the drain, which was buried in the dirt. <laughs> Literally buried in the dirt. So, uh... uh I'm gonna try to redirect it over here. And then this one's got the hum. So let's turn that one off. Let's go, uh, let's go plug that back into the pump. I was blowing on it and uh, two birds, one stone. Daniel was here, beautiful stone. Here's that pump. Good. Back in there. Plug you in. And... There we go. Not too shit. Oh, it's having a hard time. It's having a real hard time pumping. Yeah. She ain't pumping. Damn. Let's see if I saw she still ain't pumping. Must be a bad pump now. It was clogged up, probably burnt out. This was the one with the hum. She was humming. Capacitor, don't look bloated. Titan Pro figures made right. China. Pulled the dual capacitor, 55 over 7.5, and of course it's reading 53 over 7.5, but I wasn't testing, I guess, and I put a new capacitor in, and guess what? The same exact thing happened again. So uh, we're gonna pull out the hard start, replace that, and uh, she should be good to go. She should be. I guess we'll find out what happens. Using the uh, three, two, one compressor saver. This is the CSRU three for four to five tons. I think we uh, think we're okay with that. What tons we got there? We're good, right? I think we're good. Let's turn this on, see what happens. Bzz. Oh, that sucks. That really does suck. Something's very, very suspect. Even the condenser fan motor is not running. Hmm. I wonder if the compressor fan motor died to the. Uh, the. The compressor with it. Hmm. Yep. That's a fan motor. Hopefully the compressor is on thermal lockout. Pulled the condenser fan motor off and she's hot. She's definitely hot. Pulled the wires off the uh, contactor and capacitor for the condenser fan motor. She shot at the hose. I got the cool saver. Let that compressor cool down. <sighs> Five minutes after three here. <sighs> well, she's clear.
look outside again. Because the water went somewhere. It's got to be going somewhere else. It's not this hose. <sighs> All right. Let's make sure power is disconnected. And let's see what happens. Nada. Contact is still pulled in. Nothing. Kapo All right, let's take some readings uh, between red and orange. Orange being our Herm capacitor, I'm getting three. Red to black, I'm getting 1.3. And orange to black, 2.3. Three. Let's go back to orange to red again. Three, two point nine. Hmm. So red to orange is three, orange to black, two point four. This should be 0.6. It's not. It's one. Messed up. Damn American Standard Rota Lock. You done, done did it now. Just for shits and giggles. Oh, started up. No way. Huh. Wow. We you saw the resistance there. Damn Rotolock compressor. <sighs> Got the new motor. Got an eighth A25. That's exactly what this motor is. Let me uh, get the croil on there a little bit. I should have soaked that before I left, but I was thirsty and hot and tired, which is the same reason why I didn't bother testing. I just started replacing, so it is what it is. Let's get him up there. All right. Uh, let's see. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, right? That's tidy. That's loosey. Did you guys know you can use your service wrench? to loosen up that nut on the hub of a fan blade. Only if you didn't know, now you know. The magic of croil. If you guys don't use croil, I highly recommend you guys get some. It's expensive, you, get it from, you can get it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box down below. I'll get a little commission, like a penny. Great stuff. It's like $25 for a thing of uh, croil. All right, let's uh, let's do this in the dirt. I don't want to damage the paving stone. All right, let's lock it. You hear that compressor running? <laughs> wow! So I got a new uh, eighth horsepower, A twenty five RPM, two hundred eight two forty condenser fan motor in there. I. Uh, Use my grinder to cut back those, uh, you know, the bolts, heads, whatever you want to call them. Nice and tight. We're good. We're discharging hot air from inside the house, and she lives another day. Damn, I was, I was about to have a conversation. Your compressor is dead with the with the homeowner, and I was like, you know what? Let's just try flipping that on again. Wow. Good stuff. Yes, let's make sure you that can feel free to check upstairs. Okay. Go ahead. Now I'm gonna make sure that. Yep. And for future reference, you know, not, next time something's not working, yeah. it's best to turn it off because the system was on when I got here. And seriously, I, we were 10 seconds away from a brand new system. How do I turn it off? The thermostat. Oh, thermostat just. Yeah, if, if something's not working right, like it goes just not only just air conditioning, but everything. 
You know, if your car isn't working right, you're not even keep driving it, to have it checked out. Same thing with the air conditioning. You, you literally went this close to replacing your system because oh that compressor, God. that compressor was dead. Oh At the thermostat for the, the system. So your second floor system you said was not cooling. Right. It was hot upstairs. Right. So you have a thermostat upstairs. Could you show me please? So we have one that's not the one, right? That's the thermostat for the cooling, yes. That's the one so that's I a thermostat, turn it, yes. I turn it up here. How do I turn it off? What do I do? Mode off. Oh, okay. Pretty simple, no? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I had to let the camera roll at the end because it just made sense because here I am literally exhausted. Just keeping it real. I'm exhausted. And I, keeping it real, uncut, unedited, raw, I theft up here. I should have tested the capacitor before I condemned it automatically. I should have tested the hard start before I condemned it automatically. Now, I'll grant this on the hard start, there's a little bit of cocky coming out of it. It's best to replace it anyway. But what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to just, just say again is like, you ain't testing your guessing. And I get it. It's the end of the day. It's 4.15 here. I... It took me forever to install a two-zone ductless mini-split system on a job that Daniel, Peter, and I were at earlier today, and they're still there. Um, and I get it. You know what? We, we get consumed. We get overwhelmed. You know, we're, we're tired. We're only human beings. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. And, you know, uh, at the end of the day, they're up and running. Made some tippage, right, which is nice because, in my opinion, if a customer gives you a, a gratuity... It's because they sense value and they think you went above and beyond. When I told her that I don't have the motor in my truck, but I'll be back in about 20 minutes, I'm going to go get one. She was so relieved, and that's part of doing the job. Double check. I always like to double check. And we are good. All right. Always like to double and triple check. Make sure I not left nothing behind. We good. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't really show much of actual testing and things like that, uh, but you get a gist of the things. Just want to reiterate that you need to like dot your I's and cross your T's and just do your best. Don't try. Don't hope to, but do your best. And uh, hopefully you'll have a great outcome. Just saying. All right. I am exhausted. It's a nice little service call. I gotta make sure that I write down the stuff that's missing. You know, I didn't have a condenser fan motor in my truck. I have an A25 and a 1075 rescue motor with variable um, different speeds, you know, horsepower, sorry. Um, but I don't have them in a truck because I'm, I messed up, you know? It is what it is. So I'm gonna make sure I re, maybe restock that and uh, be prepared for the next job. Thanks so much guys for tuning in. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the love and the support. Remember, if you're in the New York metropolitan area and uh, you want a contractor that, that's plumbing and HVAC and it's going to keep it real and tell it like it is and treat your home like theirs, uh, well, you need to call us at 516-348-6300. You can also book your appointment online at pipedoc.net. And if you're in the Orlando, Central Florida area of Orange or Seminole County, I'm there too. Love to help you. You can reach me at 407-375-1100 or you can book your appointment online. Saving time at orlandopipedoctor.com. Check out the Mikey Pipes Orlando YouTube channel, which is our other channel for the work that we do in Central Florida. Thanks, guys. I'm exhausted. Let me get hydrated and maybe, just maybe, hit the pool later today. Love you guys. Catch you on the next one. If you're not calling Mikey Pipes, you're getting screwed. There you go. That's right.